Hi, I thought I'd quickly show you the visual schedule I've made for Alice. Basically, three-year-old who um, doesn't want to behave and doesn't want to follow instructions because, you know, she's three, uh, but who also has a complex needs sister, so it's not like we can let her do and get away with anything. So I wanted to come up with some form of solution whereby I can help her help manage her expectations of what's going to happen and in what order uh, and sort of something that we keep coming back to. So I actually decided to go with, I mean, a special needs school kind of solution of, of um, um, pecs, really, um, but a visual schedule. And Alice is responding pretty well to it. So at the moment, she uh, is out walking together with Eileen and Eileen's carer. And when she comes home, she has to wash her hands and then it's dinner time. And then I'm thinking she's going to need a bath because, you know, kids get kind of yucky. And tonight it's teeth brushing story and go to sleep. So just kind of manage her expectations. I have quite a lot more here uh, of a variety. And I don't know if you can spot it, but I've actually made them bilingual because, well, I'm Swedish. So I'm obviously going to have a Swedish one. And no, I don't really expect her to read them. But then I'm... Um, I, I think, I actually think I sort of automatically started by writing it in Swedish and then went, ah, oh, but the carers can use this, Rob can use this, so maybe I should um, um, do them in English as well. So they stay in this little BB-8 box, usually, and um, there's a mixture of um, activities and treats and chores. And even if she doesn't help with the chores necessarily, like, um, you know, I don't necessarily expect her to hang the laundry, for example, even though I have one for that. It's kind of saying that that's one of the activities that is happening today. So it might be me hanging the laundry, but she accepts it and um, we know it's happening. She can help with the laundry. She likes helping with the laundry, but she can't hang it by herself. And the same with the dishwasher. The dishwasher's really an adult responsibility but she can help but at least she expects that it's going to happen so i think that's really quite important um i think it's helping with her behavior i really do um it's difficult to get her to behave it's very difficult to get her to tidy up uh she really enjoys helping the cleaner clean but she doesn't enjoy helping me clean and um uh, because we're still in lockdown um, we don't have the cleaner but yeah, overall, um, this has been a really good idea and I love using it mostly because it actually makes it so much easier to manage Alice, Alice's expectations, as I was saying. I took a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. I was basically going on Pinterest and I was looking and there are loads of these that you can buy and print off and there are even some free printables. None of them really suited the categories I wanted which is actually why I've sat down and um, done them myself. So all of these I have drawn, hand drawn and coloured in by myself. And then a very kind um, grandmother in the special needs circles that we move in lent me her laminator. So I cut them out and I laminated them all and then I mounted them on um, Velcro strips. So you just come out off like that and go back on, on again. Really easy. It, Took quite some time to do the drawings, but it was kind of therapeutic as well. So that's my little visual schedule for Alice. Hope you're finding that useful. And um, if you want to create something like it yourself, as I say, Pinterest is a huge source of inspiration. And best of luck. Thank you for watching. Bye.